I am the nature hacker and this is your world. So I want to talk about a very serious subject right now and that is the future of jobs in America. So I want to preface this uh, with something I saw on TV quite a while ago. It was it was about somebody looking at their, you know, their family history and uh, learning about their, you know, family history and things and um, their genealogy, things like that. And one of the people was like, oh, oh, my, a couple of people from my family went into this like work labor house kind of thing where, you know, if you, if you didn't have a job and you were out of money, you went into this, this like labor house type thing. I don't really remember exactly. I don't even, I don't know if this was in the Great Depression or if this was before that, but, um, but basically it was like a big negative thing to go in there. You know, people had pride and they, they wanted to make it on their own, but they couldn't. And they went into these houses, you know, to be able to get, um, you know, food and shelter and, and have a job and stuff. You know, they did very menial labor. But it was this really bad thing where, you know, everybody really got sick and, you know, the uh, people, the uh, life expectancy of people that live slash work there or whatever was much lower and stuff. And it was just a very terrible, terrible place. So if you know what I'm referring to, please tell me in the description or, you know, tell me in the comments. Um, but I don't know exactly uh, what that was. But I see that happening in our future, you know, I see that, you know, jobs are going away and, you know, big corporations are going out of business and people are losing jobs and um, there just aren't any jobs out there. I mean, there just aren't enough jobs, you know, so what are people going to do? They're going to have these things, you know, set up by the, the central bankers and, you know, they're eugenics houses, really. I mean, they're they're there to kill you. They're like prison camps, you know, so... You don't want to go there, you know, whatever they call them, if they call them uh, work, labor camps, work camps, whatever, you know, just, you know, you don't want to go there, you know, so you have to be able to um, make money on your own, you know, you can't count on the fact that somebody else is going to create a job for you, I mean, when you think about it, that's crazy, that you're relying on someone else to create a job for you, really? Like, I know that you've been brainwashed your whole life to believe in that, but that doesn't make any sense, okay? That doesn't make sense that you are dependent on someone else to create a job to give you, okay? That does not make sense, and I want that to get through to you. I know every single one of you watching is brainwashed to believe that other people create jobs for me. Well, I want you to turn that off in your mind. I want you to wake up. And realize that you, you know what, you, your friends, your family is all you really have, okay? You can't rely on somebody to create a job for you. I mean, you have to, you have to know that, man, you are responsible to create your own job. And yes, you can get help from your family, get help from your friends. You're not alone, okay? I can help you, I can give you tips or whatever. I can definitely help you, okay? But... You have to realize that this is on your shoulders to create your own job, to create your own income. If you can't do that, you are at the mercy of, of, of the unknown. You're at the mercy of the unknown. And you know what? There's not enough jobs for everybody out there. So if you now is a critical point. If you don't have your own source of income, you are in big danger, okay? You are in serious danger. So that's that's really um, what I wanted to get across uh, is that you have to create your own job. So now I want to go into a little in depth on how to do that and you know what that all means and everything. So I mean, look, you should realize that you know you have a burning desire in you. I mean, if you're over thirty, you should have hobbies that you're very passionate about you should have some type of thing that you're very excited about very interested in i mean if you're if you're young you know you probably funnel that into video games and you don't really have a real world passion yet but you know try to uh nurture that try to find that you know, even if it is games get into uh you know mobile game development get like a you know how to make a game on android or something do that um 
just develop hobbies, you know. So right now, if you have a job, whatever job you have working for someone else, that's your training wheels, okay? you got to be trying to figure out how to do or what to do on your own, okay? And don't just do what your job does. Like, you know, I used to work in uh, um, cell biology, and it was I had the idea, oh, you know what I could do is, I could be a freelance, what I did was cell culture, so I took, and I didn't like what I did, all right, but what I did is I took baby animals like rats or mice or something, killed them, took their organs out and created cell cultures. So basically, like let's say I removed their heart, I digested their heart in um, enzymes, digestive enzymes, so that it's all individual cells and the cells would still be alive and then I would put those cells on petri dishes and it would grow into this layer of like contractile cells you know you can actually watch them beating like a heart and then I gave those to researchers to you know do research on the proteins in there you know like staining or uh, RN, you know siRNA um, you know just affecting the the gene expression and things like that and now looking back what I was really used for was uh, um, basically, uh, genetic warfare, you know, like creating viruses that uh, infect you and change your genes, change your genetics. So, you know, it was bad. But And that's another thing, is that these big corporations, they're all working for evil. Every single one of them is working for evil. It's just like, it's like just a requirement, you know. You, you make your company go public, and now... And now you are liable to be fired from your own company. How crazy is that? So you're automatically selling out by making your cor corporation public. And um, who gets control are the people with all the money, you know, the banksters that have been bankrolling society since, you know, the, um, since the 1600s, you know. So they now get control of your company. It's all, it's total evil, so you need to get out of it. But I was like, you know what, I could do this and be a freelancer and be like, you know, a contractor where I do this cell culture. And then and I'm just like, you know what, you know, I don't really agree with what I did. You know, yeah, that's that was the only, you know, job skill I had at that point. But, you know what, it's not worth it to do more more of that junk, you know. So you got to really dig deep and find out what you yourself are actually passionate about, you know, so... For me now, I make, you know, herbal medicines, and I think that is incredibly important um, for myself. I mean, I have to, I'm, my body is kind of wrecked from 10 years of college and being a cult member and, uh, you know, controlling Christian cult and things like that. So I'm pretty wrecked, and right now I'm recovering and trying to sleep a lot, catch up and stuff, but, um, but, uh, but basically what you have to do is you have to be willing to live on a little, you know, like I, I created a diet where I, all I ate was organic brown rice, organic eggs, and organic olive oil, you know, and then I add in some vegetables once in a while. And that's it, you know, and then maybe I, if I found some lamb on sale, I would get some lamb. But that's it, you know, um, I just really took my food budget down to a manageable amount, you know, like basically under 50 bucks a month roughly and you know I found very cheap rent okay and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna do this you know just you know you have a runway with however much savings you have you have that runway and you just just hope that you can take off before that runway ends <laughs> so you gotta take the risk you know and before before doing this you gotta get out of debt you have to get out of debt you can't, you can't, the, the dumbest thing you could possibly do is create a company with debt. I mean, you're automatically enslaving yourself if you do that, automatically. So you can't create a company with debt. You know, you're guaranteeing that your company will go bankrupt sooner or later, okay? So, um, what else can I say? Um... Well, I mean, I guess to give you some tips, create a blogger website. I mean, blogger is nice because it's totally free. You can Google a lot of different things you want to do with blogger. Like on my website, I have like a, a little bar with buttons. You can just Google how to make a, you know, button bar on blogger or something. You know, there's 
lots of resources out there to do stuff on Blogger. So just create a Blogger blog, and you know my website's a blog. You know it really is, and it 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 has the features of a website. So, but at the same time, I can easily post to it. So that's what you have to do, and you really have to become your own media company. You know, you create media in order to draw traffic. You know, like I write articles. I write articles because I care. I write articles because I want to get the truth out there. But at the same time, that draws in traffic to my site. Okay, so it's you. You are your own advertising. Okay. So find the thing that you love to do. You know, do you love to make electric cars? Do you love to make batteries? I mean, I'm talking about myself here because I, I'm gonna, I'm working on batteries. But what are you passionate about? What are you interested in? Do you like painting? Do you like drawing? You can literally make a job out of that. I promise you, anything that you are passionate about, you can make a job about with, and I will help you do that. Okay. But the keys are first get out of debt. First find cheap rent. First, you know, get your food budget in order, you know, cut out entertainment, none of that BS, you know, walk everywhere, don't drive a car, cars are just gigantic um, waste of money, okay, so you really need to, you need to get things in order to where you can live off of not much, and then give yourself a, you know, try to give yourself a year of leeway, you know, have enough savings to be able to pay your bills for a year as you start kicking this off, um, so yeah, I mean, even if you draw pictures, let's say you're you're an artist and you like drawing pictures with pencils, okay? Make a blog, make a website, start making posts, whatever you're interested in, post about. You know, if you're thinking about something, do some research, you know, on your own. Make a post about it, you know, or are you watching a TV show and you think that next season is going to do this make a post about it whatever you want that's your blog you do that that will bring traffic to your site and then on your site you can say hey i can make custom drawings for you i'll draw a custom drawing for 25 bucks uh here i drew this picture you know i, I you know I, i'm selling originals you know i'll draw a picture from scratch in pencil and I'm selling that for twenty dollars. I'm selling this one for twenty five dollars. Selling this one for fifty dollars. You know, if you if you make real quality stuff, it will sell. I promise you. I mean, if you draw one picture and you photocopy it and sell photocopies, you're not going to get anything. But if you're making if you're making original drawings and you're selling them for a reasonable price, you're going to sell them. I promise you, you will. I mean, even if you make if you draw one drawing a day and you sell it for $25, I mean, that's, um, you know, let's say that's times five, that's $250, that's $1,000 a month. I mean, can you live off of $1,000 a month? You should be able to live on $1,000 a month, okay? You know, if you have a $50 food budget, you know, you're paying under 500 for rent, you should be able to live on $1,000 a month. So, do it. Get out there, do it, okay? Give yourself... A year of a runway, so you're not worried, <laughs> you know, you're not stressing out all the time, and make it happen. I can help you. I'll try to direct traffic to you a little bit if I can. Make a YouTube channel. Link to your website on your YouTube channel, okay? I'm telling you, if you don't do this now, you're going to be screwed. This is the break-off point. This is the edge, okay? If you don't do it, you're going to be dependent on FEMA. You're going to be working in a labor camp, okay? You have to make your own way. You have to make your own business. You have to make your own income. This is how to do it. You know, the internet is training wheels. You know, once you get your internet presence good and you're making plenty of money, start focusing on local. Try to try to build a local community, you know. And then from the local, then you can open up a storefront. You know, you can get Uber drivers to ship your goods for you. Then you're really cruising. You know, once you get your local business going, man, you're you're really cooking, okay? So that's what you have to do. This is serious. I'm telling you, if you don't do this, you're going to be screwed, okay? You are going to be screwed. I'm promising you that you will be screwed if you don't do this, all right? You can't count on your pension. You can't count on your retirement funds, you know. The banks are not reliable, so you have to do this. You have to do this. So thanks for watching. I am the Nature Hacker. Do work.